Hello. This video is on the chi-squared test of independence. It's the second of two videos to help you with this topic. The syllabus is shown for your reference. And it's assumed that you're familiar with the basic steps of a chi-squared test of independence, as shown here. To remind you of step five, the acceptance and rejection criteria. If the test statistic is greater than the critical value, then there's sufficient evidence to reject the null hypothesis. Likewise, if the p-value is less than the significance level, again, there is sufficient evidence to reject the null hypothesis. Otherwise, we accept the null hypothesis. In this first question, we're asked in part A to state the hypotheses for the test. So the null hypothesis is always that the two variables are independent. So we write age and favourite sport are independent. And the alternative hypothesis, H1, is that age and favourite sport are not independent. In part B, we're asked to find the number of degrees of freedom. So we use our formula m minus 1 multiplied by m minus 1, where m is the number of rows, and we can see that there are three rows, and n is the number of columns, when we can see that there are two columns. So that's 3 minus 1 multiplied by 2 minus 1, and that's equal to 2 degrees of freedom. In part c, we're asked to find the expected frequencies and the test statistic. To do both those tasks, we need to enter the observed frequencies into our calculator. And I'll show you how to do that. We first need to dimension matrix A. So to do that from your calculator, have you press menu if you select option one, we'll run matrix, and follow that by F3 to get to the matrix menu, F3, and then another F3 because as you can see, matrix A at the moment is two by four, and I need to dimension it to three by two. So press F3 and change M to equal to three and N to equal to two and press enter. So now we can enter the observed frequencies. And we can, so we can look at eight, 23, 12, 11, 10, and 16, as shown to the right here. Having entered the observed frequencies, we now need to calculate the test statistic and its p-value. So on our calculator, if we press menu and uh, option two, the statistics menu, followed by F3 to perform a test, followed by F3 again to perform a chi-squared test, followed by F2 to perform a two-way test. And as you can see, the observed frequencies, matrix A and the expected frequencies will go into matrix B. So we just press execute and the results will be displayed. So the test statistic is 3.93. The expected frequencies have automatically been recorded in matrix B. If we now press F6 on our calculators where it says matrix and scroll down to matrix B and then press execute, you'll see the expected frequencies displayed on your screen. Also shown to the right here. In part D, 
Rio wants to test at the 1% uh, significance level and the appropriate critical value we're told is 9.21. So we need to compare the test statistic to the critical value. The test statistic was 3.93 and the critical value 9.21. And since the test statistic is less than the critical value, i.e. 3.93 is less than 9.21, there is insufficient evidence to reject the null hypothesis at the 1% level, so we accept the null hypothesis. And our conclusion is that age and favourite sport are independent. In this question, we're asked to test at the 5% level of significance whether a student's canteen preference depends on their year group. So the first step is to state the null and alternative hypotheses. The null hypothesis is that year group and canteen preference are independent. The alternative hypothesis is that year group and canteen preference are not independent. The next step is to enter the observed frequencies into your calculator. So step two is to input the observed frequencies and to do that we will have to redimension matrix A as we can see that this particular contingency table has got two rows and four columns. So to do that on our calculator, we press menu, and option one, the run matrix menu, followed by F3, the matrix, followed by F3, to dimension matrix A. And we change M to equal two, and N to equal four. Press execute again, and then we can input the observed frequencies. 7, 9, 13, 14, 14, 12, 9, and 7, as shown to the right here. In order to see the expected frequencies, we need to actually perform the chi-squared test. So on our calculators, we need to go back to menu, option two for the statistics menu, followed by F3 for a test. Followed by F3 for a chi-squared test followed by F2 for a two-way test. And then if we press execute, we'll get the chi-squared test statistic. And to see the expected frequencies, if we now press F6 to get the matrix menu again, and scroll down to matrix B, and select execute, we'll see the expected frequencies. also shown to the right here. So on to step three, stating the significance level. As stated in the question, the significance level is 5.5%, uh, 5 that's 0 0.05. And the number of degrees of freedom is two minus one, multiplied by four minus one, which is equal to three, so step four, stating the test statistic and the p-value. The test statistic is 5.81 and the p-value is 0 0.121. Since we're not given a critical value in this question, we will compare the p-value to the significance level. And since the p-value 0.121 
is bigger than the significance level, 0 0.05, there is insufficient evidence to reject the null hypothesis at the 5% level. So therefore we accept the null hypothesis. And we conclude that the variables year group and canteen preference are independent.